Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to analyze Likert scale using independent samples t-test in case the data is normally distributed and the non-parametric man with new t-test if the data is not normally distributed. So here you can see on this uh, spaces uh, data, uh, you can see that there is uh, one variable that is dichotomous variable which is gender male and female and we have Likert scale of 17 items the Likert scale ranges from strongly disagree 1 to strongly agree 5 so the first step is that we need to reduce or combine all those items into one variable using a function that is called compute mean and it's found here in transform compute variable uh, statistical you can look for it and mean and then we can keep uh, putting all these uh, items together till we finish and we separate them uh, by comma okay so I'm not going to do this because I have already done it uh, so I, I will get one variable that is called beliefs about homework so this variable if we can view it here can find that uh, the, the mean score is computed for all the respondents respectively so what we need to do is that we need to conduct the uh, independent samples t-test on this variable that has just been created and gender that consists of male and female respondents as you can see anyway so to do this we go to analyze independent samples or rather compare means and then independent samples t-test so we check this and move the gender to the grouping variable and define groups so the variable has been coded as one and two respectively so I need to do this again group one is code one and the group two is code two as simple as this some people code group one zero and group two one so that's why the you know spaces uh, verifies this anyway let's click continue so this is for the grouping variable or the independent variable for the dependent variable uh, or the test variable uh, it's going to be moved this way and then click options so just to see we have 95 percent that is 0.05 percent or rather degree of uh, significance and we can just click ok so wait for this. this is the output so you can see the mean score of female and the mean score or the mean score of male so male uh, respondents have more or less positive attitudes towards homework compared to female respondents but the difference is slight so as you can see even the sig value for the quality of variance or uh, you see the sig value uh, or values are below 0 0.05 or rather above 0 0.05 therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis that states that there is uh, no statistically significant difference between male and female respondents with regard to their attitudes towards homework so this is how we go about interpreting this data now uh, suppose that the data is not normally distributed the then what is the solution the solution is that we need to uh, let's say perform another test that is called uh, man with new test how can we do this so we can go to analyze and then we go to non-parametric tests and choose uh, independent samples so this option click on it and then move the beliefs about homework to the test field so I'm just going to reset to show you how it has been done so beliefs about homework to the test fields and gender to the groups and then click run okay so let's wait for the output so this is the output you can see again the non-parametric man with new test shows that there is no statistically significant difference between male and female respondents as the p-value is above 0.05 and this chart or this figure visually depicts this 
Well, although male respondents have more or less uh, lower uh, ranks or mean ranks compared to female respondents, still there is no statistically significant difference. So this is how we can uh, go about doing the independent samples t-test and the men with new tests on Lacquard scale data. And this is how we report the results and or rather interpret the results. Uh, for questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. You will find the links in the description box and in the comment section respectively. And see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.